James Wood, who was commissioned to head the inquiry. The Wood Royal Commission was to change the face and nature of policing in New South Wales for years to come. We have listening devices, we have telephone intercepts, we have state-of-the-art tracking devices. We are part of the best equipped investigation team ever established in this country. But none of these shiny toys is going to get us past square one unless we know where to put them. There are 14,000 serving officers in the New South Wales force. Not all of them are corrupt. But there are plenty of shitheads who are. And they're clever, sneaky shitheads who will close ranks at the first whiff of a leak and will never cheerfully come to us just to fess up. The only way to do our job, expose corruption, is get someone on the inside. Sniff around, find people, cop or crim, that we can put between a rock and a hard place and get them to point our bells and whistles at the corrupt officers. Mr. Agis? Uh, might I add, do it legally? Spoken like a true lawyer. <laughs> All right, let's get stuck into it.